As gardeners, we all understand the importance of soil and soil health. A healthy, plant-sustaining soil is teeming with microbial life. And it's this microbial life that does so much to keep our plants healthy, well-fed and with good access to moisture. And all these hard-working microbes ask of us, the gardeners, is to give them a little bit of protection and a little bit of nurturing. One of the very best ways a gardener can go about nurturing their soil life is to apply a layer of compost directly onto the soil once or twice a year. A rich organic compost is just what the doctor ordered to keep your soil life nourished and well fed. Then these microscopic good guys can go about making nutrients more readily available to your plant and they can take up the fight to soil borne pathogens to help your plants remain disease free. One of the major challenges for your soil life is weather extremes. High temperatures will heat up the soil and cook those soil microbes. Mulch is an effective sunscreen for your soil. It will moderate temperatures and slow down evaporation. To be truly effective though, it needs to be coarse enough to allow the water, either from irrigation or rainfall, to move quickly through the mulch and into the soil below where it's needed. Apply your mulch as a layer at least 70 mil thick, remembering to thin out as it closes in on the trunks and stems of your plant. Good quality mulch can be bought in bags or in bulk by the trailer or truckload. Another option is that you can make your own utilising all your tree and shrub prunings by hiring a chipper or even buying one. Just make sure you only use material from healthy and disease free plants. Gardeners can also make their own compost at home utilising fallen leaves, lawn clippings, chipped twigs and stems. Making compost and mulch from materials that may have been previously considered green waste makes a lot of sense. You'll no longer be sending prunings and greens to landfill, instead reusing the resources on site. Both the compost and the organic mulch that is applied to these garden beds will help to sequester carbon into the soil and will return nutrients to the soil as well. This process can be as simple as the gardener wants it to be. An easy and elegant method for achieving this goal is to chop and drop much of your prunings as you're undertaking garden maintenance. Ensure your secateurs are nice and sharp though. Keeping your soil life happy and healthy has great payoffs for the garden. Soil microbes free up nutrients, fight soil pathogens and really improve soil structure. All this adds up to healthier plants and a happier gardener.